Now that you understand what STEAM is, we are going to talk to you about a process that will help you integrate STEAM into your everyday lesson plans. This process is called the Design Thinking Process. This is a six stage process, which you can see on the screen. It encourages both critical thinking and creativity while also integrating STEAM. The design thinking process is a method of learning that provides a solution-based approach to solving problems. When you have an ordinary everyday problem that you want to solve, you may use the design thinking process without even knowing that you're already using it. For example, if someone is having a hard time staying organized, they might start by brainstorming and questioning, why am I not organized? Maybe I need a planner, or perhaps I need to purchase folders, or maybe it's another mean of organization that I need to use. Now let's pretend I think folders will do the trick. So I go to the store and I buy folders and I begin organizing my notes. But once I start organizing, I realize those folders don't work too well. So then I think, hmm, what else could I use? So I go purchase binders and those really seem to do the trick and I'm very organized. Little did you know, this simple task actually follows the design thinking process. This process is a mindset, mindset that many of us have without even realizing it. The design thinking process requires students to apply transdisciplinary knowledge skills to their everyday thought processes. It is very effective when it is done in a team setting where individuals can bounce ideas off of one another and gain a deeper understanding for a task or solution that they are trying to solve for. The design thinking process especially encourages that we create and we test and we improve tangible outcomes. The design thinking process and STEAM actually go hand in hand. When doing a STEAM related activity, you are actually using the design thinking process whether you notice it or not. Due to the design thinking process being a process based method, it applies to any STEAM related tasks. Both ideas are continuous and transdisciplinary, which means to incorporate multiple school subjects into one project or idea. Due to the design thinking process being continuous, it encourages you to use critical thinking skills to work through a problem. The process requires you to really break down the task that you are completing. You have to think it through thoroughly, bounce your ideas off of each other, test your attempt, and then critically think about the factors you could improve to find a better solution. The design thinking process does encourage mistakes so that you are able to create the best model of your product possible. For example, you use both steam related ideas and the design thinking process while you are cooking. You may be boiling rice. So first you have to decide what your strategy is, get the necessary materials, cook the rice, and then evaluate it to see what you could improve for next time. Maybe you realize that it's overcooked, but now you are aware to not let it boil for so long. You want your steam product to reach the most successful outcome it can. And with the design thinking process and an abundant amount of trial and error, those conclusions can be reached. Now, please watch the short video below where you will see a company using the design thinking process to create a product.